Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading for March 4th to the 11th. I am Charlene Lazette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you all this week. All right. Ooh, the Hermit. Raven, what are you doing? Ace of Swords, Six of Cups, Strength. She's found a bag. Ten of Cups, Page of Wands, Queen of Swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. I love this. I love this. I love this for you. Oh, my goodness. I almost want to say finally some good news. <laughs> I know you've been going through the ringer a little bit. You know, the readings have been indicating some adversity, some challenges. Okay, adversity flying out here. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. Look, baby, here's what I'm going to say to you, okay? There is a glimmer of hope, the rainbow, the sun is shining. Raven, stop messing with that bag. Uh, you are not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. Yeah, you have people that are so supportive of you, people that will guide you, that will help you, that will show you the path forward. Sextile, beautiful, love this. In astrology, a sextile is a really nice aspect to have. It's all about integration, cooperation, it's harmony, it's like balance, it's things that work nicely together. You know, like colors that work nicely together, energy that works nicely together. You got the amulet, Victoria. I designed this amulet to remind you all that when you tune into heart center, when you operate from heart center and you listen to source consciousness and you receive the messages from source, deliver them out into the world, you be, you, you are, you will be, I should say victorious in your life because you are operating with integrity, with respect and, um, into and, and empathy. Empathy being sextile, sextile and my sweater, empathy always. We start off with a hermit here, introspection, self-reflection. There's a lot of analyzing here. There's a lot of self-reflecting. Introspection, you might be wanting to be alone during this time. There might be a lot of changes that are happening, upheaval that's happening here. But this isolation is not to... Um, disconnect you from the world but rather it's something that you needed right now so you could get clarity ace of swords so you could cut through the bullshit so you could see things clearly here the empress card at the bottom of the deck six of cups here this is about recognizing and realizing past patterns past memories past childhood experiences that may have trickled into the future into your life now um whether for the good or the bad right? good or not so good Strength and the Ten of Cups here, your willpower, your courage, your determination is what's going to make you successful. That is the vibe here, okay? You got to keep pushing through, believe in yourself, persevere, baby, through adversity, through difficulty, through challenges, through it all. Find that integrity, find that compassion, find that willpower, find that vitality, that energy, okay? This is going to be a week where you're going to be pushing through a lot of things, okay? You may find or you may feel like, you know, it's like an uh, getting to the top of Mount Everest or Mount Fiji or Mount whatever, Kilimanjaro, okay? You're, you're almost there. You're almost there. So keep going. Don't give up. Okay, that success, that happiness, it's available to you, okay? Reach out to friends if you need to, talk to people if you need to, go hang out with people if you need to, okay? Just be around energy right now. Be around people. It's going to help you. It's going to support you. With the Page of Wands and the Queen of Swords, that vitality, that passion, that energy that you got, that spark that you got, keep feeding, keep learning, okay? Keep keep fueling yourself with knowledge okay if if you think about yourself as a fire keep giving yourself kindle keep giving yourself wood to keep being able to stay lit at this time the queen of swords is a woman who has experienced pain trauma challenges and difficulties what she does though is she overcomes them and that adversity that she persevered from becomes her superpower Right. If you think about, you know, I don't know if you know my story a little bit, but I was on the verge of homelessness. Right. And in those moments where I had essentially lost everything and we were putting our whole lives into 10 by 10 storage unit, I vowed to transform my life. 
I vowed to answer the call from source, from universe. And that ushered in a massive transformation in my life, which led me to this, my sole purpose, where I get to be of service to you guys, where I get to help you, where I walk you through your own transformations, where I teach you how to release those money blocks, where I support you in becoming the person who you have always meant to be, sharing your gifts, your knowledge, right? Because every single one of you has a unique soul purpose. And when you share it with the world, the world rewards you. And so this courage, this vitality, this energy. What the fuck was that? Did you guys hear that? That's not like a spring. That was weird. That vitality, that courage, that energy, okay? That's what's going to propel you forward, speaking of spring. Let's dive in. Spring is coming. Whoa. Okay, let's dive into your love reading here. Hold on. If you want to take any of my courses, including the Money Magnet Workshop, sign up to the Soul Revolution. It's a nine-week live container, okay? Well, I'm going to walk you through, hold you accountable so that you can finally share your unique gifts with the world and start attracting cash flow with ease into your life. All that's in the description box below, all right? Worth waiting for. Give your relationship a chance and past life relationship. Okay. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Queen of Pentacles, there you are. Did the light just change? What is happening right now? This is crazy. Do, was the, or maybe my phone's changing because it's going into night mode. Never mind. Because the light changed, like the light uh, on, on my phone changed. I was like, the light's changing. We're hearing weird noises. What is happening right now? Tower, give your relationship a chance. It's done. That person may still try and come back, past love relationship. That relationship is done. Okay? That relationship is done and you know it. It's time for you to wrap the cycle up, baby. It's time for you to have that energy, that vitality. Aries at the bottom here. Okay? Go after your desires. Go after your soul mission, your soul purpose. Share your gifts with the world. It's time now. Okay, it's time for you to share your gifts with the world. It's time for you to step into your power. It's time now for you to support others in their transformation, in their journey. But that means you've got to pour into you too, okay, Taurus? I'm so excited for you. This is a great reading. I love this. I love this so much for you. If you want to work with me in any capacity, sign up to any of my courses or containers. It's in the description box below. Did it all sign up to my free newsletter or get your amulet. Here is your monthly reading. We will see you later. Alligator. Peace out.